change my mind What is getting deep now? What is getting deep now? Update on these uh, slides. <clears throat> so, as you saw, I was struggling a little bit. I uh, had to make a minor adjustment on exactly where these are set. So, if they're not, if they're off just if one's further than the other one, uh, the latches won't line up. So, I had to pull it out, uh, loosen the screws a little bit, just make a minor adjustment so that these things actually um, set down in lock position. And then, over here, these slides are kind of, I don't know. I'm not happy with them, but when the, the slide's actually in place, there's this little latch, which is the lock mechanism that prevents this thing from sliding back. And when you release it, it's supposed to, uh, the inner slide here, which is mounted on uh, the holder itself, um, so it comes in here and will push this lever up so that you can physically slide it back problem is the inner slide was only it's like short so it would never it wouldn't fully uh, push this up so it'd go just just barely up to where um, these stops weren't letting it go so I had to get the Dremel tool and as you can see I just ground it a little bit right there on that corner um, I don't know if you can see on this piece right here on the corner I ground it down enough to where when it picks it up just slightly it'll still allow it to uh, slide back. So fix that problem. That was a kind of pain in the butt. So now that's good. I can mount all this hardware up. Um, right now I have, I tacked the, um, I welded down these points, just tacked them in place to uh, see my alignment. And I left this one over here loose so that when I install it, um, I can then tack it in place and it's gonna be in line with everything else. Again, these slides are uh, probably going to be harder than I wanted, um, or more difficult anyway. So on this one, there is a catch right here on this side, and on the inside here where these uh, two rivets are uh, holding it, there's a little uh, tab that sticks out right there, and this little mechanism right here that controls the stop of it. So you lift this up. And this goes up and down. Well, that little catch right there where you can see, I don't know if you can or not, right inside there, um, just barely wasn't catching, so I had to bend that thing down and uh, make it make it work. So now the thing, the uh, right side caught, but not this side. So now we got both sides catching and uh, both sides will um, close. One of the next steps is also to be um, install this bar. So these locks each have to be raised at the same time uh, to pull it out. So rather than do that, I want to install this rod here um, across it so that all you have to do is lift up on it 
and you can slide it out with a single handle. Um, so, in order to do that though, what I'm thinking I need to do is I need to install this somehow, put a nut on the back side here, and then a uh, screw, probably weld that to that point, and then we'll put the bolt through as a tightener. And I might do uh, weld the actual screw to the end on this side so I can slide it in, screw it in, and then tighten that one up and so take it out. what I'm talking about with the uh, one piece operation boom easy peasy over here I had to do an offset piece so we have uh, a single washer over here but on this side like I was talking about I had to make a little piece in order to offset it. Now obviously the radiuses are different when you lift it up, um, but clearance is all good and it pulls out. Now it's not a lot of room here on the end. I just didn't have the space where the uh, the face is going to end and where this ends. So just enough room to get your fingers underneath there. Alright, finally. Alright, we are here. We are coming to narrowing toward the finish line. Um, we have drawers. Plural. Um, yeah, so I gotta do a little bit of tweaking. There's a little binding going on um, in the connection between the two. But here is how it works. We'll set this thing down and we'll show you. So, as before, we have the lever lifts up. Pulls this out, like I said, it's a little tight binding, but pulls out, locks in place. This piece then flips over. This will be the sink once it's mounted. Sets right there. This can uh, open up for the uh, hot water heater. Have the uh, stove over here. There's the hook right there on the end that allows that thing to uh, hook. And then this can be accessed further. Utensils and whatnot pulled out right here. Um, now that it's locked in place, you can slide it back um, for storage or uh, to sit there while we're cooking and eating and whatnot. And then uh, pull it out, whatever, to uh, put away. So then, in order to put it away, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go all the way back with it like this. Um, I have to get it that locked position. So I got a little, do a little tinkering with it, but then you're gonna have to uh, flip this thing back over. And here's kind of the binding issue that I was talking about. So we're locked in 
There it is, and then it'll slide back. Locked in place, not going anywhere. We have the piano hinge here, but I had to, like I said before, offset it. So there's actually a three quarter inch piece um, here in order to compensate or account for rather the uh, track here. Otherwise it'd come down and sit on this track. So um, there's this piece here. I have to add for sure is some sort of like a stand assembly. Um, I'm thinking some sort of adjustable easy thing I can flip over and uh, mount to maybe the back side of this. I don't know yet. Down the road, right now it's uh, functioning um, and secure here. Uh, welded this out, had to do a little spacer, eighth inch uh, gap in order to get myself um, level on this playing field right here um, on the drawer. So uh, welded those out. These are to the frame itself, eighth inch, two inch, two by angle iron. Um, it actually has a little bit of flexibility, which I kind of like. I'm not yet sure if I want to run a, another piece of angle over here to give myself a stiff brace. Um, I like the flexibility because with these tracks, with these slides, any amount that you're off, just a little, little bit, um, it binds them up and makes them really hard to slide in and out. With this being a little bit of flexible, uh, gives me that um, uh, flexibility to uh, pull it out easy. Um, I don't think it should be an issue driving down the road because when it's in a stored position, um, it's going to be locked back here, so there isn't going to be that flex. It's going to be tied to itself within the drawer, so it should be all right as far as, far as uh, that goes. But only time will tell. If I have to come back down the road, I can always get in here and uh, weld up a piece right there. It's so funny how you know you think you're going to get a lot more done and things just take longer, you end up doing things twice for whatever reason. Um, and here we are finally with a complete setup. I was hoping to this weekend knock all this out and have the plumbing all done as well. Um, even the door, I mean pretty much everything done where I was setting this thing back, the lid back in place, but we're close now. I think the welding portion of it things is finally done. Um, yeah, here, check this bracket out. Here's what I ended up making. So it looks like a can opener or bottle opener, but I had to, because I have such a narrow between the wood here and this uh, the actual body of the trailer, so tight I had to make this piece. So I took a piece of two inch angle, uh, cut off one of the sides, and then uh, cut a slot in it, welded some tabs on the back, welded the piece I had cut off over here, mounted it up, and this allows it to slide in place and then is rigid <clears throat> while driving down the road. So I ground down the uh, inside here, this uh, little bit to give myself a little bit of, so it, when it's set in there, it didn't move, it didn't have the ability to go back and forth. So give itself a nice rigid piece. We'll see how long it, it uh, lasts. I know with wear and everything, it'll uh, probably um, wear a little more and um, get to where it uh, is um, uh, more worn down and get a little more flex, a little more movement to it. Uh, we'll see as time time goes on. So that's it. Hope you guys uh, are enjoying it. And finally, we're, we're making progress here. Almost almost done with this thing. So thanks again for watching. Until next time.